Well, welcome Scorpios and thank you for being here today. This is your monthly love message for the month of December 2022. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the rest of December 2022. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning message to the question, how does the soulmates of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love for the month? Thank you. So we have Sky Dancers, Surrender, Unmarked Trail, Revolution, Revelation. Okay, so those of you that I'm connecting with, Sky Dancers Surrender, it feels as if Divine Spirit Universe is encouraging you to surrender a transformation that needs to happen either within yourself or within this connection. Sky Dancers are all about, if you can notice, it's like a butterfly. It's kind of, it's not quite a butterfly and it's not quite a caterpillar. Many of you may be an in-between stage either of releasing something or releasing somebody, maybe even releasing a job. Um, you're not quite out of it or out of the past and you're not quite in the future. You're in that in-between stage. And I feel that you're being guided with the sun here, which for me is a very auspicious card. The sun is, there's something bright um, that is, I feel that's coming to you. And I feel that you're being guided to almost give thanks. Almost give thanks because there's a transformation that is going on in your life at the moment. Um, that I feel many of you will be dancing to the victory. The sun is about abundance, prosperity, happiness. But right now, you may not be surrendering to that because you're in this in-between stage. Your main card, it says this energy is intense, masterful, thoughtful and um, magnetically charming, but also secretive and possessive. So many of you, um, you may be... Hmm, it feels as if many of you are, as you are moving on from something or releasing something, possibly you're secretly relieved. But I feel that you're being guided to focus on being in the here and now because you haven't fully transitioned from releasing something and moving from the past into the future. And I feel that there's something about the intensity of of being revealed something. There's a revelation coming that I feel that's going to give you extreme balance. So it feels as if the unmarked trail revelation is almost as if if you're resisting letting go or you're not recognizing you need to be in the here and now um whatever it is that is being kept secret from you is going to be revealed it might take a bit of a moment um but it feels as if like you're going through a bit of a maze almost kind of it feels like you're firefighting at the moment not really surrendering to the happiness abundance that's coming your way but it, there's a transformation of releasing something. And I feel that you're being guided to just focus on the path ahead of you. For some of you, it feels as if that um, this may be a breakup. Um, if it is, I feel that something is going to be revealed to you. I don't know whether or not this person wants to reconcile, but... They might, they might secretly want to reconcile with you. Perhaps this person was a little bit possessive. You constantly firefighting. Yeah. This could be, I mean, this could be to do with um, work, Scorpios. 
you're not quite out of the past and you're not quite in the in into the future but i feel you're just being guided to relax and just surrender surrender to divine spirit universe because whatever this transformation is it's going to be good for you it's yeah look at that and I, I, I knew it with the i'm going to start with the, the prison wolf self-sabotage poverty consciousness it feels as if the connection or another aspect in your life i'm picking up work um it was very it wasn't healthy for you it wasn't healthy for you many of you may have felt very much a prisoner couldn't move left right backwards forwards and for many of you, um, if this is a relationship, I feel, to be quite honest with you, that it was the other person that self-sabotaged. I don't feel that it was you. I don't feel that it was you. But whatever it is, um, this energy of the prison wolf, this is what you're being guided to release. But you're not quite there yet. You're not quite yet there yet. And as soon as you release it, there's something that Divine Spirit Universe is going to uh, reveal to you. What it is, I don't know. But the Fire Prince is really, really um, um, a brilliant card to come, particularly in context with all of these cards. Whatever it is that you're moving forward to, okay, this is definitely a time to give thanks um, many of you may, as you're in this in-between stage, you may need to just meditate, just be still and just ride out the storm because it does feel very intense, whatever is going on. That intensity will balance out. The revelation, I feel that you will receive, they're just letting me know, is that either, either basically what, whatever you were in before, it, it wasn't healthy for you. Where you're moving to or what you're moving forward to, it could be a new person. It could be a reconciliation. It could even be another aspect in your life. But there's something that needs to be released because it wasn't healthy for you. As you release it and surrender to just be still and just ride out the storm, something is going to be revealed to you. Because all of a sudden, it's like your balance is returned to you. Because as you move forward, there's optimism, um, aggression, and aggression, I'm not even taking as a negative thing. It's almost as if you are almost going to be focused on, a, like aggressively focused on moving forward and leaving the past behind you. The optimism is that there is something passionate that's being lit within you. Um, whatever you're leaving behind, it may have really dimmed your light. Your, your light is going to be on fire. Whatever it is you're moving forward to, and many of you, the aggression is that you are. You, you may actively, um, aggressively make sure that you don't get into that self-sabotage, poverty conscious energy again or allow that to happen to you again. So the aggression, I feel, is like almost you're going to focus, you're going to just focus on the direction that you're going and not look back. And I feel that as you go through that process, it's really important to give thanks because whatever is coming for you in the future, like whatever divine spirit universe is unfolding for you in the future that may have taken a real long, you know, twists and turns to get there, um, it's going to bring you balance. And I feel that for many of you, it's going to reignite that passion within you, passion for um, somebody, passion for life, passion for a job. I don't know what it is. Um, but the key thing here is that something is being released and where you're moving forward or whoever you're moving forward with um, is definitely going to be um, very, very bright and prosperous for you all right scorpios if this message resonates please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video subscribe if you haven't done so already it really does help to push this video out to other scorpios it also enables you to get those notifications of when i'm uploading new messages and of course it does help to support the channel so i thank you in advance for your support and encouragement and encouragement existing subscribers welcome back thank you for all of your support encouragement and donations it's really appreciated 
and I really do hope that you all get something useful and meaningful out of uh, this month's reading. Let's get into your main love message. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does the soulmates of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love week, sorry, month for the month of december 2022 what is their current energy spiritually emotionally mentally and physically towards scorpio that i'm allowed to see for the highest good and for the greater good of all scorpios this person or whatever it is you're leaving behind is thinking about you um it feels as if many of you as above so below and all around me thank you it feels as if many of you you're parting from somebody or something um, is actually going to, um, their world is coming down. It's like, if they, if this is a person, okay, or maybe even another aspect in your life, family, friends, work, whatever it is, um, you've left um, a real imprint, very intense, OK, uh, and it feels as if this th this person or whatever it is, um, they're going to really feel the loss. It's almost as if as they think about you, that's when they appreciate you. That's when they appreciate you. Mm. Thank you. Yep. With the page or. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's uh, that makes sense with the moon card. Exactly what I was saying. Um, the, uh, whoever you're connecting to or whatever the situation is, what is being revealed to them is. Um, you made an impression on them. Or now that you're lost, their world has come crawling um, crumbling down. And you know something that may be a revelation for them? It's almost as if they didn't appreciate you when you were around. This feels a little bit more than uh, a love relationship. It could be any aspect of your life. But this person or thing or situation, it feels as if what's been revealed to them is they've majorly lost you. They've lost something that um, really impacted their life yeah and you know what they may have self-sabotaged it that's why you had to leave detach but yeah with the uh moon card um i feel that whatever it is they are um going to be revealed or have a revelation about they're going to want to talk to you about it they're going to want to talk to you about it let's continue but, oh thank you yeah secrets and the queen of swords i feel 100 percent that is your energy you have cut something out walking away and i feel the secret that you're keeping is a you're not even looking back you might be open to talk to the to the person okay um but you're not going backwards it feels and i feel secretly this person is realizing the impact of you not being in their life and they want to talk to you, have a serious conversation. Many of you um, with the five of cups, you were very disappointed about how this person either treated you or how an organisation treated you. Um, yeah, you're going to be sad to go. You're going to be sad to leave this person, um, but you're not looking back. <laughs> Excuse me. So it must be speaking truth. Okay, so I feel that um, for many of you, uh, you're definitely protected. Whatever new situation you are moving forward to is very much protected. It feels as if that is where um, your light is going to be kind of reignited um, with somebody new, a new project, whatever it is. With the emperor here, I feel that um, now this is really interesting, the emperor coming out, because either this person was. Um, God, if this is a boss, either they were very controlling or they having a revolution like. Like they how can I put it? Either they were just too. I mean, this could be a boss that is being revealed that your parting has 
got it, it's it their world has come crumbling down it could also represent a relationship where this person is recognizing they were too controlling they self-sabotage the connection okay um And it feels as if they strongly feel as if um, the revelation is that you not being in their life or being in that organisation has left a massive dent. Yeah, with the sword, Palace of Swords, I feel that this person is either getting um, signs, visions, um, communication that's being protected in some shape form or another it feels as if as they have this revelation of almost taking you for granted is what i feel if i'm being honest this person could have been stubborn jealous controlling it feels as if as they are um revealed as it's been revealed to them um that they perhaps took you for granted they want to talk, but they are also getting, um, I feel, signs, visions that they need to either clear the air with you or close out whatever happens with the two of you. Um, close it out properly, almost for their peace of mind, if that makes sense. And I feel secretly they might not tell you that like they were either dreaming of you um because i know that they're thinking of you that was very clear from the channeling but it feels as if they're not going to tell you that you know they started dreaming of you or you know every which way they turn they're having reminders of you they're going to keep that secret yeah look at this this person is extremely conflicted to talk to you, to let you know that they are getting signs, synchronicities, dreaming of you. Every which way they turn, you're there. It's like you've made a massive imprint in this person's life or organisation's life. Um, and it it feels as if they are very conflicted. To even keep that secret, but also conflicted to talk to you because your back is already turned. With the Knight of Wands, I feel that you're kind of like really indecisive whether or not you're going to even listen to this person. But it's also making you a little bit conflicted. Do you know what? If there is something that needs to be um, closed out properly, I feel you're being guided to surrender to it. There's a purpose. There's a purpose. Maybe for some of you, you might be holding a bit of anger towards this person or a situation and possibly that's what you need to release the revelation i feel that you guys will find out if you do speak to this person just to close it out i don't feel that you are going back no 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 there, there's a new cycle coming in for you after feeling very sad very disappointed very poverty consciousness. Many of you may have felt very, very much a prisoner in that relationship. But it, it feels as if the revolution, revelation, sorry, uh, maybe it's a revolution. I don't know. But it might be a, um, a, a, a resolute. What's, what did I say? Resolution. It just came out of my mouth. Um, the revelation, I feel that you're going to find out. They're trying to tell me again. Hold on a minute. Okay, it is a resolution. The resolution is that you finding peace. That is the revelation. Okay, that wasn't an accident that I said that. There is a resolution. It's finding peace so that you can move on and not hold any aggression to this person, to an organisation. And I feel that many of you, you're being guided to surrender to the conversation, even though you don't want to. Very conflicted, very indecisive, your back is already turned. The resolution is to close out this situation with peace. Until you do that, that's that that's when you 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 can't move forward properly because you'll carry that baggage with you with the world card there's a new cycle opening up for you definitely okay um that sadness feeling like a prisoner 
um, that is all moving. It's all moving. You're moving forward away from that. Um, Taurus, uh, Leo, Scorpio, your energy is coming up. Uh, Aquarius is coming out here and Aries, Pisces, and again, Scorpio. Scorpio, you're all over this reading. With the uh, King of Swords, I feel that this person, they saw you as their divine counterpart, the King and Queen, all right? Um, but they may have been very, very guarded about expressing that, or they could have been very controlling about that. Um, it also lets me know that if this person wasn't very talkative, i.e. to appreciate you, they are revealing that that was a mistake. They may have been in their ego, in their pride, not to express to you how much they appreciated you. They are having a massive revelation. It's almost as if the cloud in which you're leaving this person, it's left such an imprint that this person hasn't got a choice but to go within and check their behavior. Look at that, the Queen of Swords right next to this person. This person definitely saw you as the divine counterpart. And this, yeah, the star card, you are definitely their wish fulfillment as well. Do you know something? You've lived many lives with this person. This person may even be your twin flame, but it feels as if this is not the lifetime for you and this person to come into union. There was, there's a lot that this person still needs to learn. That's the revelation, the unmarked trail. But with the star card, the two of you, um, I, I feel that this person recognises that you're definitely their wish fulfilment. This is possibly why they're getting dreams and visions of you, which they're secretly not going to tell you. Um, because you've lived many lives with this person. Maybe in different capacities, maybe in past lives, this person was um, either your boss or um, if this person is your boss now... Perhaps they were a lover. Yeah, maybe the two of you were married in past lives. But there's something that you are definitely releasing. With the Hermit card coming out in reverse. Now, the Hermit card is all about um, seeking wisdom, seeking guidance from divine spirit universe. Um, with it coming in uh, reverse, this is kind of let me know that there is it's it's almost kind of like you may have withdrawn you may have withdrawn from this person way before whoever cut whoever out walked away but it feels as if this breakup is already happened okay many of you the hermit card is um echoing the prison wolf you may be thinking okay how depressed how imprisoned you felt and that's why you're very conflicted and very undecided whether or not you would even give this person the time of day to talk to them i feel that that energy is what you need to release and the only way that you can release it is to have the serious conversation that this person wants to have with you yeah um feeling imprisoned in this connection feeling as if you couldn't move left right forward backwards it was very burdensome for you you are putting down that burden the cycle for you is definitely closed all right um virgo is also popping up here aquarius aries if i didn't say it already thank you and thank you and thank you wow yeah the situation that you was in uh, with this person uh, or whether it's work <coughs> it wasn't healthy for you it wasn't healthy for you um, and many of you that's that's what you're leaving behind the queen of wands yeah you're taking action many of you with the lovers card you may be moving um to another job or situation that is better suited for you or you're moving forward to actually come into union with your twin flame. The lover's card is my twin flame card. Um, the king and queen, normally that is twin flame as well. Divine counterparts I normally refer it to. So it may mean that this person was a very deep soulmate. 
that you may have thought was a, a, a twin flame. It might have been a false twin flame, but it doesn't negate that there is a soul connection because you have lived many, many lives with this person. But many of you are taking action to detach from what burdened you that made you feel very much withdrawn, depressed, a prisoner. You're taking action and moving forward um, to um, either find your twin flame, okay? Or if this is a work situation, entering into something that's definitely brighter, more beautiful, um, a new contract, um, a new beginning, something that you can flourish, okay? Gemini, Capricorn's popping out here. Let's continue. My angels and spirit guides of the divine... Please, can you tell me the outcome? Thank you. Yeah, this person is waiting to see if you'd be open to have a conversation. They might even be waiting to see, oh, okay, they want a new beginning with you. Waiting to see uh, whether or not you, you that the ship has sailed. Personally, from the cards looking at your side, yes, it has. I feel that this person is still holding out hope, thinking of you, which we picked up um, through the channeling. Um, notice we've got three wands and one wand. This person actually sees you as their divine counterpart, somebody they could marry. Okay. And with the three of cups in reverse, now the three of cups face up is all about, it feels as if this is letting me know your energy of this situation, whether it's uh, another aspect in your life or it's some sort of relationship, it might be a love relationship as well. But the three of cups is all about celebration. It's all about getting to know somebody. With um, the three of cups coming in, we're you're feeling very withdrawn, very burdened. It wasn't healthy for you, taking action, moving forward to something that best suits you, a new cycle. The three of cups that's coming out here, this is you totally disconnecting from this situation. Whether it's an employer, whether it's um, a, a person, it's a relationship that you had that didn't serve your highest good with that devil card it was very very toxic for you very and many of you actually may be very angry definitely disappointed but you know if it's a work situation you might actually be very angry and there's the eight of wands and the hierophant i feel that you're being guided to be open to have this back and forth conversation with this person um because I would say with the Hierophant coming out, uh, many of you, it's like you're being guided to have the conversations so that you can have your peace of mind. Yeah. Whoever it is that is, uh, if this is a love connection with the lover's card and the Hierophant coming out here. OK, it feels as if that um, if this is a job, then you've been divinely guided into that job. OK, that you're going to be extremely happy if it is your true twin flame that divine spirit universe is trying to um, lead you to or open the door to uh, many of you, you're being guided to walk in faith. Yeah, because you may have been married to that person in the past, but it feels as if in context with this person over here or this situation, you're being encouraged to have the conversation, to have your peace, to walk in faith and have your peace because you really just want to disconnect. It's like you just don't want anything to do with this situation on this side. You also could be dealing with a Sagittarius or Taurus, or you could have Sagittarius in Taurus in your chart. Wrong card. Let's continue. My angels and thank you. Yeah, I feel with the seven of uh, cups, this person is definitely thinking about misunderstandings, miscommunicate, miscommunication. Um, they may not understand why you don't even want to talk to them. Uh, I feel that they are thinking about the choices that they made with you, being controlling, maybe operating in pride or ego. Uh, they're going to be slow to come forward. Yeah, they're going to be slow to come forward and ask for this conversation. 
it's like they don't know how to even bring up the topic or how to approach you and many of you yeah you're going to be in this mental torture like do i don't i all i want to do is bloody disconnect from this situation now or this person but i feel that you're being encouraged to to allow the conversation to happen yes to balance out yourself six of coins this conversation isn't scorpios this conversation isn't for the benefit of this person it's for the benefit of you so that you don't carry over any kind of aggressive uh emotional baggage for the way this person um affected you okay made you feel like a prisoner was very very toxic was very very burdened it's not for their benefit honestly it's not for their benefit divine spirit universe is saying have faith that by having the conversation with, and it feels like a very open and frank conversation, if I'm being honest with you, many of you are going to say some home truths to this person, okay? But it feels as if that is what you need to do and you're being guided to surrender to that because you haven't quite left to the past and you haven't quite gone into the future yet. And as soon as you can balance out that kind of uh, disappointment, some of you anger, it's as if that is where your uh, light then almost like shoots up. I just see it shooting up. If this person or situation dimmed your light, all of a sudden by balancing it out, speaking your piece, um, closing the door in it properly, carrying, having no baggage, it's almost as if your light just shoots up. It's like it ignites and all of a sudden optimism, passion for life, passion for a new job, passion for your true twin flame coming in is just ignited. That's why it's really, really important, I feel, that you're being guided even though you don't want to. That's what I'm picking up. You don't really want to. But Divine Spirit Universe is saying, Scorpio, it's for your benefit. It's not for this person's benefit. It's for yours. Let's clarify. <clears throat> My angels and spirit, thank you. Yep, there you go. The tower moment on their side and that is what i was uh picking up that this person um is feeling the effects of losing you little too too little too late yeah whether or not this is a work or a relation i don't know why i'm picking up work some of you it's going to be a relationship um with your boss at work or it's going to be an actual love connection yeah they're absolutely devastated absolutely devastated that you've gone you've left such an imprint either in this organization or with um this is a love connection yeah maybe they were too slow too slow to offer commitment or you know to turn things around possibly for many of you you gave this person a, a, a chance i told you with the knight of swords the Knight of Swords for me is somebody that aggressively comes in to speak their truth, get shit off their chest. Many of you are going to do that and it is really going to crush this person. But it feels as if, like I said, like I said, Scorpios, it feels as if whatever it is you need to release and get off your chest, it is not for the benefit of this person it is for the benefit of you so that you don't have any emotional baggage carrying on to another job that you're supposed to be in or another relationship that is your true twin flame. Yeah. Many of you, this person is going to be really shocked with what you've got to say. Because you're not going back. You're not going back. There's a serious conversation. I told you. Page of Pentacles. So it feels as if at some point you will actually have the conversation, even though you don't want it. But you are going to take the opportunity to say some home truths. Just remember to be a bit balanced. Don't be too aggressive. Speak your truth. It's how you deliver it. And there's your transformation. Scorpio, your energy. Beautiful. That's where you have your rebirth. Yeah. Because you will have said what you needed to say. And now you can move on 
Yeah, you can move on. Because the revelation, I feel the revelation is to resolve this. Um, whatever needs to be said, resolve it with peace. Okay, many of you have got a lot of anger. You've got a lot of anger. Try and balance that out. And there you go, the Eight of Cups, you then walk away. I can't make this reading up. I cannot make this reading up. It's like you walk away with no angst, no regret. Ready for the new, ready to move forward. New job, new relationship. That possibly will be your true twin flame. So can you see how the cards are coming out, Scorpio? It's like having the conversation with this person, speaking your truth. Make sure it's a bit balanced. We know that you're angry, upset, disappointed. Yes, it's going to affect this person. But it feels as if that was the revelation that you are supposed to be bringing to them. Control, ego, pride. That is something maybe you're supposed to reveal to them so that they can change. Don't forget, we all are connected. We all, there are people that come in and out of our lives all the time. That there's a reason for it. Maybe your reason is to wake up this person so that they can see the, the unmarked trail of their patterns of behavior. And so even though you don't want the conversation, it's for you. It is for you. It's not for them. It's for you. That's the transformation. That is the transformation. To have that conversation, speak your truth, you know, uh, cross watchers. I know that you're going to be upset. And then, my beautiful Scorpios, you can walk away with peace. You're just going to turn your back, walk away and never look back again. You are going through the rebirth. So with the five of swords, I would say that this person, um, yeah, it's a real battlefield to speak their emotions. Uh, they are carrying three belts. So that's uh, three, sorry, three swords on their belt, which tells me they are going to be absolutely devastated. A, with what you've got to say. B, um, you leaving. Um and they possibly won't even know how to react to you saying half of what you're saying. But it triggers a new beginning for them. I feel that this person, uh, it was interesting what I said about we all meet people for different reasons. Possibly your, your purpose in this person's life was to go through the journey of feeling entrapped, feeling as if you didn't you know have any control feeling as if this was really toxic but you needed to almost go through this is the unmarked trail you needed almost to go through this journey with this person in order to come out the other end to then tell them something that actually possibly is going to change their life for the better for the better this person has a new beginning has a new found sense of okay maybe i need to correct like get correct with themselves not with you 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 said your piece and then judgment try not to be too judgmental to them okay but i feel that many of you uh you're being re regard this is a uh, uh, reconciliation but i don't feel that this is reconciliation with them this is reconciliation with yourself it's almost as if divine spirit universe is saying, as you detach, really think about having the conversation. Um, I feel that they're encouraging you to walk in faith and have it. OK, have the conversation because it's going to actually restore you. Restore what this person spiritually took from you. And put you in that prison wolf energy. Remember the devil card? It wasn't healthy for you. This is restoration of you. So even though I said it, it came out of my mouth and I didn't really understand it. Resolution and revelation. I thought I was just talking nonsense. But yeah, it's about you having resolution 
of walking away from this situation with absolute peace in your heart. So you can have the victory of the sun, abundance, prosperity, either with a new love, okay, or a new uh, job or something new. You're just moving forward. The lesson has been complete. Many of you are with the eight of coins here. You're going to be looking at the connection in a lot of detail before you speak. But it also, if this is a new job, you've got the uh, six of coins and the eight of coins. Uh, you know, you may go on and earn more money. You may go on and earn more money or be rewarded for possibly what this person didn't appreciate if this was a company. But yeah, you're definitely going to be looking at the detail. Possibly for some of you, it might even be a bit of reflection, meditation, being still. What is it you learned? With the seven of pentacles, it's very interesting because um, I feel that this person or employer is going to be doing exactly the same. And I feel that they're going to realize that you put a lot in and there was no reward reward for you. And that is what I feel is going to make this person change, a new change, a new beginning for them. Yeah, with temperance, I feel that this person, they're balancing out their emotions, being patient for a new change, being patient to almost really um, come to terms with the revelation of how they treated you, whether it's uh, this person as a lover or an em employer. They're trying to balance it out, weigh it out, yeah? Sagittarius is coming out here as well and then the five of swords yeah uh the conversation that you're going to have with this person yeah it's it's going to be a bit of a battlefield but you will rise to the challenge because guess what you're going to speak your truth the ace of swords didn't i say look at the dove it's this conversation that you've got have with this person whether it's a lover or an employer it isn't for them scorpio it's for you to walk away with peace, resolve, knowing that you've spoken your peace in, in spirit and in truth. You've spoken your peace. And the Ace of Swords represents victory. Victory after some deep, deep healing, deep, deep revelations. There's your transformation as you speak your truth. This is all about you restoring yourself. So the conversation, my my beautiful, beautiful Scorpio energies, it isn't for the purpose of this person. And I'm not like knocking this person. I feel that you're experiencing with them and whatever it is that you need to say to them is what is going to uh, help change and improve them. And possibly that was your purpose in this lifetime with them. Oh, beautiful. The strength card. I've got chills. I feel for many of you, you're definitely being guided, that you've got the strength and the courage to see through the anger, the upset, to speak your truth, to um, recognise, um, and it's possibly, it might be because I've been just going on about it. It's not about them, it's about you. The strength and courage to speak your truth, to really look at the detail and to articulate it in a way where this person um, goes away, reflects, and it triggers a change for them, okay? And it feels as if they're saying you've got the strength. You know it's going to possibly be a battle. You might even think it will go in one ear and out the other ear. It won't. They might be quiet. They might be still, but they will be digesting it and reflecting it. It's the unmarked trail Whatever you say is going to be revolution, revolutionary to this person. That was the word revolution. Not resolution. Maybe it's all three words. Revelation, resolution, revolution. Yeah. Leo's popping up here as well. Sagittarius. So many of the, car, you know, Taurus, Sagittarius coming up again. Wow. Amazing message. All right, let me um see what your advice is. 
my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me your advice for such a um, look hear me sagittarius for scorpio sun moon rising and venus in love for the month oh, excuse me for the month of december 2022 that i'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all as above so below and all around me thank you these cards are very like heavy so like they just there we go all right I'm trying to get them to uh easier to come out so the first card is nature brings us peace it says they say go to nature as if she is not there eternally and yet it is true return to the immensity of her let this homecoming to nature create an unshakable foundation of inner peace born of belonging it's almost as if divine saying that we really need you to have this conversation with this person or organization so that you can hold your peace and never and and never think about it again but also it may be something that you need to do so that you never allow yourself to get into this prison wolf energy again then it says to be calm is true connection to be calm is not to be distant nor detached to decline the ego's invitation to rage and rush brings you back to your soul's wisdom and power every time Calm creates energetic opportunities for presence and connection. I'm not being funny, but that feels that you're being guided, particularly with that six of coins, to balance out your aggression or anger if you feel towards this person or this company. Um, because that is what is going to calm you. That's what's going to help you hold your peace. And nothing right is achieved by, you know, lashing out at anybody. But I feel that you can speak your truth in a very honest way, in a calm way. The message will still land with this person. And I feel that you will finally close the door. Look at that, still and strong. The mountain is still and strong and eternal. And so is your spirit. Oh, Scorpios, connect with the part of yourself that is the mountain that's the strength card connect with the part of yourself that is the mountain and remember that you can rejoin the divine stillness that awaits within you and that divine stillness look at that look at that that's the mountain and that's the stillness your peace amazing huh it's amazing how divine spirit talks to us and then everything that can be begins now now is the source of everything that can be this moment it has infinite potential what will you create with it that is the truth the soul wishes you to know let this be your inspiration and your solace so many of you you're going to go on and do great things okay or you're being guided that you have the opportunity to it's almost as if Divine Spirit Universe is freeing you from a very toxic situation, um, but they almost want you to heal and not carry that over to your next situation. Um, and it's like, as you get that new lease of life, do you remember what I said to you with the fire prints? It's almost as if this optimism, it's like I literally saw like your light just sparking up, re-energized, passionate, ready for it. It's like they say, what are you going to create with it now? Yeah, what are you going to do? You've got all this energy, all this optimism, all this fire in your belly. Go out there and just create something awesome, um, Scorpios, in your in any aspect of your life that this um, resonates for you. And of course, with love. OK, I'm going to leave that there for you. If it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye bye.